I have a new favorite business finding tool and it's called With Kumo. Go to withkumo.com in your browser to pull it up. What this site does is it allows you to search all the major business buying platforms in one place. In other words, think of it like Expedia. Rather than going to Delta's site and Alaska Airlines and United, you can just go to a site like Expedia and find the best flights from all the airlines. So with Kumo does that for businesses. Rather than going to buysell.com and businessesforsale.com and all the individual brokers, you get everything in one place. They claim to monitor over 100 brokerage sites, have over 120,000 active business listings, and they say that they add hundreds of new businesses for sale each week. So let's check it out. The first thing to know about with Kumo is you have to create an account to browse the listings. So I just logged in. This is not open to browsing without an account, like say bizbuysell.com. But once you have an account, which is really simple to set up, it only asks for your name, email, and then setting a password. But once you have an account set up, it'll prompt you to upgrade to a paid membership, which looks like this. You can use it for free, which gives you access to 100,000 plus deals, but it's only deals that are older than 30 days, businesses that have been listed for 30 days or more. You can only save one search, and we'll talk about that in a moment. But if you upgrade to Pro, it's 30 US dollars per month. It's everything in free plus instant access to 120,000 deals, unlimited save search. You can set up daily or weekly deal alerts, which will go to your email. Um, you can cancel anytime and unlimited access to all the deals, even the brand new ones. And then you can even upgrade to enterprise if you're like, say, a brokerage or someone with a team that needs those advanced features. As far as Kumo, if we go back to the, the homepage, the dashboard here, I like the UI. It's simple. It's modern. It only has two things in the menu bar, search deals and my deals, which is where you can save your favorites. On the free tier, which I am on, you can only save one search parameter. But if you had the upgraded plan, you could save unlimited search parameters and then set up email alerts where it would email you every time something hitting your criteria pops up in there. So we can come down on this page to our search parameters. We can set a price all the way from no minimum up to a $100 million business. Again, that's the asking price. Then we can set a revenue amount from zero to 100 million, our EBITDA from zero to 100 million, industry. And here's where it shines over some of the other ones like biz buy sell is we get a lot more granular control over the industries that you can choose. So you choose agriculture at large, broadly, or you can choose something specific like greenhouse businesses, farm tree farms and orchards, or you can go down to beauty and personal care. You can go to nail salons, for example. And then you would apply whatever parameters you select. We can choose location. We can choose by state, or you can choose the entire United States, which has close to 90,000 listings. That's pretty amazing. Or you can go to other countries, which this buy sell doesn't allow us to do. We can only do the US. So pretty cool. We can, we got a lot of choices here. We can also then go to more filters, show deals I've viewed or show deals I've hidden. Then we have the deals themselves. We have the little, the primer, the, the name of the business, the industry, it tells us different tags like brick and mortar, beauty and personal care, clubs, gyms, and fitness centers. This falls into all of those. It tells us the price, the revenue, EBITDA SDE, if it's available, when it was added, again, on the free tier. So everything is gonna be over a month ago. When it was updated, so some of these were updated less than a day ago. And then here's where I could save it, and then this will put it on my watch list, or I could hide it if I don't wanna see this business anymore. And then if I click on a business, it opens it up in a different, a separate tab. You get your description, your top highlights in bullet form, and then any additional information. And it's a much more pared down listing than what you'd get on some of the other sites. But the other sites are in fact linked right here. So you can just view it on BizQuest, BizBuySell, LoopNet, whatever, wherever it's listed. Some of them are listed in 10 different places and you can just see how, how they vary. And then it, there's an option to leave a note here. So I could say, I like this business, submit. And now I have an internal note about my thoughts when I found this business. There's no option to reach out to this business through Kumo. 
So I would in fact have to go to one of these listings to reach out to the broker. And I've talked about that in separate videos. This industry is old. Business brokerage is old school. Things change very slowly, but tools like this are super useful in making our lives as business buyers easier. So check it out. I'm not affiliated with, with Kumo in any way. I'm just a happy user and I enjoy passing on useful tools like this that I find for you to use in your search. If you like this, give the video a thumbs up. Bye.